Sorry I'm so late, guys. I was waiting for me pizza. Grimson, Silverstorm, thanks for subbing. Brith and Caspian and Jokala, it's gra it's a graboid. Sindri and Johnny, Scoundrel, Mr. Tensei, Cynthia, thanks for subbing. Katoshiro, hello. Dankenstein, RJ Marks, Dead Thing and Seed Type, I agree. Bear, Bert Nern, thanks for subbing. Tigamos. Rogue Mailman, Marty Dollar, Swift Bits, thanks for subbing. You ever played Amazing Cultivation Simulator? Nope. Back Guano, Akiha, Banks. Rosaling. Demon Zero, I'm Infamous. Rag Elf, thanks for sub. The Wise Fool, thanks for subbing. It's Aramago. Have you met, have you been to Marilago? <laughs> Barry Blake, thanks for sub. Ha, 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 ha. ACOG, thanks for 88 million years. There's a couple new life simulator games. Took a massive shit today, guys. I gotta be honest. Don Chalupa, Neon Nimbus, and cutest bitch alive, Apollo Zito. Samonomics, thanks for gifting to Moon Moon's last hair. Case from the dojo, Billion, Cassandra, Real JC Denton, the first of it. So suck it, loser. Okay, kill fusion. Capitalism, thanks for subbing. Doc Roundtown, Sior Max, Electric Frank Furter, thanks for subbing. Argon GP, thanks for something. Where do you get your fibers? You don't even eat veggies? What are you talking about? I eat tomatoes. In the sauce on a pizza. How many pounds was your ship? I didn't weigh myself, man. I didn't weigh myself, bruv. Thanks for subbing. I gotta shave, guys. This patchy ass fucking face pubes. Are you scared to play Inscription? It's okay to be scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Mega Otter and Grimp Impin, thanks for subbing. Kid Cody, thanks for subbing. Da Dog Ned, thanks for subbing. Kimchi Girls, thanks for subbing. Um, my wife said she was gonna bring me food, but she hasn't done it yet. So let me go get my pizza and then we'll start. I'll be right back.
me fucking pizza then. Sierra one two three. This is Flight Leader Alpha Charlie D. I read. Copy. Hey, Mumu, I just had my very first sexting ever. It went great. I'm 30. Good job, man. Was it premarital? Sierra one two three big cum bucket cited request permission to e jack over. Houston to Sierra one two three do not e jack over. Abort the e jack. Is this the game I recommended after some card games in Moon Jam? Yeah. I, I've been meaning to play this for a long time. Really first time inscription? Yeah. My father forgot something. Any chance you'll play Rogue Trader? Probably not. I'm not a Warhammer head, dude. Play the other dog shit Warhammer game them? You mean Dark Tide? Dark Tide's sick. Dark Tide was trash? <clears throat> Not really. You guys should play it again if you haven't played it in a while. I think your experience of the game was improved by playing with homies. Not true. Some of my favorite games were randos. I played a lot offline. People are pretty nice in that game. Missed my thoughts on Pizza Tower taking the fattest L. That's weird, there's a banner on the Cocoon Steam page for the Game Awards. It says the Game Awards, December 7th. Celebrate the best in video games and esports. Let's check Pizza Tower, guys. Oh, it's up there. What 
What the heck? I thought I found the conspiracy, guys. a negative review for Pizza Tower on Steam. This is not a game for older players. I was really curious about the art style and animation, but it's too fast and frantic. I can't keep up with the, that without getting stressed out of my gourd. When you are sub 30 years old, then yes, I can see it. If you never really stop playing demanding games and are used to frame perfect inputs on a controller, this will probably feel very rewarding. <laughs> Elderly. Old age. Basically blaming lag? Yeah, brain lag. I had to go get Christmas trees today. Plural? Yeah, one small one, one big one, dude. Got a real one? Yeah. Thought I was Jewish? funny about that? Why would he assume that? That's the funny part. Alder sees Yeah Buddy and Puds and Benny. Thanks for subbing. Appreciate it, guys. Mr. Robot Royd said, this is a puzzle game. Enjoy, mate. Uh, I'm sure I'll be okay. Cornbread and Mr. Ma Malakota, thanks for it. Do I know anything about this game? I know at one point it looks for your files. That's all I know. I'm gonna piss real quick, super fast piss. Actually, I'm gonna get another pizza, guys.
I just need it downstairs, guys. You require the song name? I'll post it. Graphics for God Seven. Appreciate it, man. Live Moss, dude. Live Moss. <clears throat> this guy gave me 20 tacos, dude. Thanks, man. Sorry for the delay. Today's been a little hectic for me. But I'm ready to game. Pull up Mountain Dew can for verification. How about I hold up this dick? Heyo! Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. It's a curse. The curse of Ra. <clears throat> you wish you could play this for the first time again? Yeah, I'm pretty excited, guys. Omega Poggers. Uh, we'll leave it all on. Always go. Through the settings. Is this a horror game? I've heard it's a horror game, guys. I'm not sure, though. No spoilerinos. Fallen things was open. Rolling things was open. Guys, I ordered a new keyboard, by the way. It's not like a super expensive one. It's a Keychron Q6 QMK with a dial, and the board is purple. And it's got. Gatrion Pro Reds, dude. <clears throat> it's a 100% keyboard. $1,000 keyboard. Nah, it was only like 200 bucks, guys. New game. Okay, I guess we're continuing, guys. Hello. You've never had a nice keyboard. Does it feel really different? Yeah. You should get a nice mechanical keyboard if you have the chance. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. No. I'm lacking sacrifices for this creature. I can sacrifice this for that stoat, but you do have a squirrel. I'm gonna play it here. Ow. Stoats <clears throat> cost one blood, sacrifices must be made. An honorable death, play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the, the bell to end your turn and commence combat. 
Your stout stands unopposed. Number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Your stout dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. If you, you win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stout stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stout. That means your stout's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Mm, I'm gonna draw a squirrel. Fuck you, bitch. The sacrifice it! Fair not, the beast is sacrificed but not removed from your deck. Okay. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. I'm gonna out DPS him, dude. Ding! Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. As you are learning, I will pass. Random card from your deck or the certainty of a squirrel? Squirrel. Tank it, buddy. How dull. I've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. Right is right. The undying cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. No. When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Okay. The caustic cat or damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Only one may grace your paltry deck. I want the cat. Another creature joined your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You, you found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Raise as much as you can carry. Combat. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe you'll help me? Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Okay. Not draw a card on your first turn. River Snapper. Um. Ding. You can play more than one card per turn, right? Yeah. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. We have the cat, so. Woof. Sacrifice. <laughs> Wait, why did I do that? I want to move you. No, man. Here we go. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Give me the squirrel. Play the squirrel. 
Play the wolf. Enter. Uh. Squirrel of hell. River snapper of hell. Nice. Uh, draw a card. Wolf. I don't want to get rid of Stoat Chan, dude. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloody terrain. Wolf Cub. Grows into a wolf after a single turn. Inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Um, flying. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Goodbye. <laughs> you looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. Pick me. <laughs> one and on. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stoat. Ah! Behold my totem, it inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. <laughs> He's completely insane, you see that, right? No care for the rules, pathetic, really. Enough. <laughs> Only keeps around to watch me suffer. Suffer! Squirrel of hell. Back on the board. My totem is Grand My Coyote, the Powder of Flight. Ooh, yowch! Uh, I might lose. Oh, I have these items. Right. Emergency squirrel. And turn. Uh, we should be fine. I don't want to use me other emergency squirrel. Uh, I think I'm dead. I forget if they can move an attack. All oh, right, the bat. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm just gonna use it. Fuck it. Wolf cub. Four damage away from winning. El Gato. Hey, caught the extra one. Impressive, you may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. 
I want to go to the altar of hell. Maybe we go to the camp, though. The watchful bullfrog, it leaps in the way of attacking flyers. The mighty elk, it moves after attacking. That sounds good. Let's make the stoat have the power of the elk, too. Oh, I can't. Well, we gotta get rid of... <laughs> That's the sacrifice? Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, I can't go back. Does it take its stats? Wait, I fucked up. I did it backwards. What about the foul cabin? Grand Fear. Nice tech speed. Squirrel. Um. Okay, they can move and attack, guys. Dude, I instantly lost. <laughs> You've lost. Use this learning opportunity. Maybe the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Okay. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Bring it here. Now sit back down. In a moment. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. Make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. If it's bleeding, yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. If you sacrifice it? A rock may get you out of a hard place. I like the boulder. I feel like the boulder would save me more often than not, but we'll go the gun. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items you carried on. The boss. The trees seem to close in around you as a chill mist descended. This is you can hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeehaw, twas the prospector. 
<laughs> He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss. The mule's key. Well, may as well just use this. Give me three blood. It doesn't overflow. Some cards cost three. Oh. Playing will not save you. Actually, I'm not sure. I forgot you had flying. <laughs> no! <laughs> Hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Gold in them cards. What? G -g gold, I've struck gold. Am I just dead? I gotta believe in the heart of the cards, guys. All right, that wasn't. <laughs> I'm sure we're okay. I don't have many turns left. Well-earned point of damage. I didn't think he'd really do it. I'm fucking dead. Well. More gold for me. I fucked up by putting the stoat over there because I was flying. I couldn't hit the mule. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a moment memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We'll work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Cost of two blood from the wolf. And another, this time I'll use his power and health. Choose a card from which we will extract the sigil. 
I never did ask you your name. Poopy guy. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Am I ready? Do I need to smile? Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. A resourceful opossum costs two bones. Okay. You get a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Okay. Give me my boy Stoat. He looks so sad. I got a bone. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent until the battle ends. Okay. No! Just kidding. I, that was all according to Kaikaku. Wait, just three damage. I'm out of cards. What the flip? That's not where I should have put that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, row, row. <laughs> I think I'm just dead again. We beefed it. No, my extra life! How disappointing. Where am I? Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Is this not the safe? What's in here, buddy? There's a hand holding it. Oops. Let us continue. The meager coyote, but what did you expect for only four bones? The nefarious Rattler, a brittle creature once past its monstrous fangs. The unkillable cockroach, it returns to your hand after dying. But it takes four bones. However, I like that sigil. You know, you're free to get up again, to keep your blood flowing. I am no tyrant, you may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. Do keep your hands off of my possessions. I'm about to touch everything, dog. Hello, sir. Sits. Do I like men with big nipples? <laughs> yeah. If you deem it as necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. I will deem that necessary. Are you smart or something? We usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. All right, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. 
273. That's the safe. Um. Do I even summon the stoat? That tree had bones. What the flip? How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. For, to be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The well, I already did it once before. The inviolable beehive. When it is attacked, he will draw a bee. If I die on the board, do I die in real life? What if I sacrifice myself? <laughs> Chili owner, thanks for seven. <laughs> A lot of shit in here. Stink bug. Ew. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. I got a key. Two, three, four, five. Snocky. Skink. I forgot that I had put that there. Very well, you made it to your deck, and I'll deal you one every so often. Me, ouch. Me, ouch! I can't move these to the side. Um. Okay. This one's trapped. So this always gets canceled out. Hmm, champ. Where's that one damage coming from? Here? Yeah. 
How come this isn't doing damage? Read the new card? Oh, that's a skink, isn't it? How do I read it? When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Okay. Huh. Hmm, champ. Oh, I see. I was I wasn't counting this one. We're brute forcing it right now. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well, I will add them to your deck and make them always available for future challenges. Okay. A puzzle. I don't know what the ant does. Don't make me fucking read. The value represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side on the table. Okay, but what does it do? Touch of death. An ant is created in your hand. Nope. I keep hitting escape. This one's locked. What are the ants do? They just block damage? Is that it? It does what you read? If you got three ants on the field, each ant does three damage. The value represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. How does that tell me that it does damage? The number is, that's its health. The bottom right one's its health. Isn't it? I thought the, the damage is on the left. Look where the symbol is? Oh, okay. I got it. So they all have two L. Okay. Arr. Hmm. So I should do four damage. Oh, maybe they're dying. Maybe it's a... Blah, 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 blah. 
champ block Block. Block. How is that three damage? Three ants in play, so I don't. I got someone lodged in my throat. It's not in play if it's right here. No, that's in my hand. Oh, I thought there were two rows. Oh, he's got two rows. I don't. Right. Meow, 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 Champ. Oh. One, four, three. All right. I don't know. Oh, no. Just do not get the skink? Yeah, if it gets hit, then it, it moves. It doesn't take damage, right? Or it, you you kill it and then it spawns a tail. But I don't know how much HP the tail has and shit. You can't move the left hand up, guys. What do flyers do? <clears throat> they deal damage. But this gets intercepted. Column two ant. We 
gives you more damage. Curious. That's my doggy. Why is he in the crate? I don't know what this is. card was that the symbol no Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt one single damage point. Mm -mm -mm. What does that one do again? It's like split attack. Card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across from it. Meow. So we don't want to hit the... Why isn't this doing three damage? The lizard? Oh, the lizard's getting hit. I can't move that. The lizard always has to get hit. I guess. Someone said, no, it doesn't. What do you mean? I can't move this one and I can't move this one. It's always going to get hit no matter what. Right? When the split attacker hits the thorns, he dies. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. Okay. Let's sacrifice ourselves, see what happens. The one on top is the one that gets sacrificed, right? The bloody one? The choice is yours. <laughs> you want to go, Mr. Stout? <laughs> In 
indeed. A oh, friend it freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be. I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. I'm surprised I was able to sacrifice myself. Bam, bam, bam. That's repulsive, right? Stinky. Creature opposing this card, a card bearing the sigil loses one power. I skipped my turn. Ah! So it's not like, hmm. We'll, we'll just use this now so I don't die. Goodbye. Coyote had two power? I forget. I see the way this is going. I can see it. You may accept my surrender. We may finish the match this match the slow way. along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at me, pelts? Take a pelt, free of charge. See the quality? I only have two. You're leaving already. Please consider me pelts. But thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight, but he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. What the campfire do? You? Came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. Yes, one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Who is going in the fire, dude? The fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it. 
Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. Yeah, that's not what I thought would happen. Rabbit pelt. If these get broken in combat, do I lose them forever? Maybe. It's a shield. Me ouch. Wait, he gonna die, bruh. Ant Queen. Yikes. What else could I have done? Rip out your tooth. Summon the Ant Queen, but I think I'm dead. Whatever. It is time for you to perish. Gantu, thanks for uh, the bits. Stay there, no need to move. I am afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. Hmm, where did I put that camera of mine? You really think I would leave film in there? You have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. You have a memento to create. Behold, your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Choose a card to draw the cost from. Free. This time I shall use its power and health as the numbers. Do we always start with the uh, Queen Ant and shit now? I feel like we do, right? No. We got him. We got him from the uh, what's it called? Wait, we can make this an Ant Queen for free. <laughs> Sigil of Ant Spawner from the Ant Queen. Never did ask your name. Piss cock. 
one thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Say cheese. Fresh blood. Perhaps yours will make it farther than the foot of a totem. Knock on wood. Seems a lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. What am I doing here? And what is this shit right here? Wait, did I just not pick a card? Oh, that's my deck. Okay. 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 Thanks for streaming on my birthday once again. Dude, happy birthday, man. Tooth Earring, your ducky. Thanks for subbing Sujikoi Barracuda Games Action Bastard and KM59 Golden Nook. That guy, Dave, and Gantu. Thanks for the bits. Gannon, thanks for the bits. Why is the stoat looking like a TV now? Why are you looking like a snack? Morse code on lamp? How about you, sh STFU bitch? I'll be right back. Hold on.
fresh blood. Fresh meat! We may not choose a specific beast. So you must not decide on a tribe that you prefer. The diligent ant, its strength is proportionate to the size of its colony. A randomly chosen insect card. Do you wish for something else? No. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them brusquely. Choose. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The ant spawner sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. Cool. Ah! <laughs> it's me. You look so mad. Does this spawn an ant in my hand? Yeah. This bitch flying, dog. Wait, I think my squirrel's dead. Hold on, we'll summon. Because it goes when it moves, I think. Oh. I didn't see that. baby uh snake stalwart snapper near impenetrable defense of an ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. The woman collected her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. Weirdo, thanks for subbing. The Ember Stripe, thanks for subbing. <laughs> I don't know about that, buddy. I'm not used to also not taking damage when I attack something with the uh, HP and damage. A 
unlimited fucking ads. Unlimited fucking ads. Hey, pick that up. Should have gone left. Wolf cup. Oh, I can still go left. Never mind, we went the right way. The crumpled woodcarver appeared before you. She moves with a certain uh, vigor in spite of her considerable age. I thought I would be able to assemble both of them. JP Silva, thanks for something. <laughs> hmm, champ. Let's stack them up, baby. My aunt's gonna die. No! He cheated. I guess we could kill this. Goodbye, my love. I have the most exquisite pelts. The first one's free. Much appreciated. Let's go to the campfire. Wait. Yeah, campfire. No way. Wait, what? My boss battles are high-stakes test of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Or not, I will let you keep the smoke. The incessant clink-clank reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Twas the prospector, hee-haw! I don't know what that symbol is. The card bearing the sigil dies four bones or ward instead of one. Cool. I 
I should hold on to this. them cars. G -g gold I've struck gold. Shouldn't have killed the uh, coyote. Snake instantly kills this. We may as well do some damage to it. Can I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. The fuck? Sacrifice. a squirrel. You're turning 30 this week? Old! Dang damn it, my mule! Bearing the sigil is played, you may search your deck for any card and take it into your hand. I think we just kill him. Let me 
me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you granted you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. I have no words for this freak of nature. Poor abandoned child, it does not die when sacrificed. But do you have the heart to try? Child 13. Canine, hooved, reptilian, feathered, insectoidum. The amalgam is all. Uh... Probably this. With the sound, with sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rotten mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into. The wetlands. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke, pass one of my trials and I will be yours, in a raspy voice. Great creatures will be brought, drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. Trial of power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. At least four blood to pass. Six health to pass. Let the trial of power begin. Did I keep the mule cards? Ah! Failure. The creature whispered as it faded into the blackness. I don't know what this is, but I'm going here. Survivors were right about the flames. They enhanced the creature's power. Not reading? I had already read that. Hmm. Card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly even if there's a creature opposing it. All oh, right. I'm an idiot. Meow. I'm being stung by a bee. City, baby. Nice. Wait, not nice. I wanted to get a giga overkill. We can still do it. Yes, sir! Boom! <coughs> A 
steel ball leaves open. You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. You mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Start with the hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. You can trade you any of these. Take your time. The Warren. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction described in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Will it eliminate my card? Probably. I want this. I think I want the magpie. Is that a g -g -g golden pelt? Magnificent! When a card bearing the sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as your pack is not full. Blocks of the air. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space and receive the strike instead. Mantis God. Uh, I like items. So we're going to play the pack rat. Well, the mole man's only one blood, though. You get three? I know. I guess I'll get all. These pelts are most ex excellent, my thanks. Warm well, a creature by the fire, enhance its power. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess we'll start doing... It might be nice to give Mole Man one attack. Mantis God. If I warm the worry, Mantis God enhanced its power. Hey, buddy. Well. I see wobbles in your summit. Child 13. Evolved. Can I just keep doing that? Pelts are clean. Have a free one. Thanks for your patronage. Do we have anything worth sacrificing? How do I check my hand? My deck. Here we go. We could put something on the river snapper. We could put the mole man on the river snapper, actually.
Put pack rat on an ant? It's just that ant, though. The snapper on Mantis? Wait, that's a good idea. We could put the Mantis on the snapper. It takes two blood, though. Magpie on Stinkbug for free search? Yeah, that could be good. This takes two, uh... Blood to summon. We gotta think about what we're lacking, right? We're lacking free shit, it feels like. I think more items is good. I don't think there's really a card in my deck I'm trying to get out right now. Maybe if I had like Queen Ant or some shit. So I think I'm gonna do a Pack Rat. I'm gonna put Pack Rat on. Can you put more than one thing on here? Yeah. Pack right on my boy, Stoat. That's not a bad idea. Because it's free. We can also make the Mantis stronger. Let's do the Mantis. He's like flapping his wings, dude. <clears throat> Does this generate? I'm just gonna leave it there. But if I use him again, then he uh, doesn't have two damage. So actually, I think I delete it. But the, his two damage evens out. We get two more damage here. We can do another sacrifice.
Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a B is created in your hand. A B is defined as one power, one health airborne. Okay. Let's put a uh, pack right on stout. So dead. <laughs> so dead, man. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. Oaking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook up from the He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler, go fish. I do this. It's flying. <laughs> Oh, shit. Witch fish, hard choose. Fresher fish, easy choose. He's going to delete this card. Dude, I fucked up so bad. Why did I put that beehive down, dude? The mole man's not intercepting them. Can't move to the beehive spot. But he should be able to move over here, right? Some mole. Stale fish, hard shoes. What's more annoying, this or this? I think this is more annoying.
Lucky. Mole Man OP. Go fish. Don't like that, buddy. Wait. Try attack. Man, I forgot. I was gonna try. Uh, if he didn't have this, then he wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna hit any of the buckets, which I assume is bad. Oh, we're fine. We would have just killed him. Actually, that's not true. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Oh, he has a blood cost now because of the thing. He always did? Wait, Stoat always had a blood cost? I didn't even realize. Let me relight your candles. Very well. You may choose a rare card. The amorphous amoeba, its sigils are ever changing. The holy mantis god, a perfect incarnation of terror. Another one. <laughs> <clears throat> You considered one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Let me see. A frigid gust of wind billowed, unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. It snowed where I live today. You had ascended to the snow line. What is this? There was a tornado where you live today? You good, man? This is just a ripoff of the Minecraft inscription mod? True, man, true. Soviet Archeomancer? Nice name. Genoma, thanks for something. Beverly. Zacharum, Jeff Chandler, Epigon, Schasm, Cat Sensei. Says that Grinning Alex is your reminder sub in the next month. Yeah. Congratulations on your reminder. I made this. Grinning Alex, thanks for subbing. Oh. <laughs> nice reminder. Coltrane and Yudin. Uh, section Wobi Obito. Sorry, thanks for subbing. Wookie Man Splater uh, takes a chomp. Guys, I put Tapatio on my uh, pizza. Delicious. Glascare, thanks for subbing. Slore Poopin, is this it? Thanks for subbing. 
What's that? It's hot sauce. To patio. <laughs> That's what I used to call it when I was a kid. Jin Remy, thanks for subbing off stream. You watched the most recent JJK episode? Yeah, it was really good. It's probably my favorite one so far. That's because I like Toto a lot. Harlan said thanks for subbing. Brother. <laughs> I like Toto and I like his uh, ability. He's really cool. Yeah, I watched Freerun last night as well. Am I going to play the whole game this stream? Hopefully. I'm about to get some chalky milk. You want some? No, but I got to get some water and uh, an antacid. I'll be right back.
Do some heckin' laundry tonight, guys. Let's go over here. Show me some exquisite pelts. Air pelts. Oh, it's the traitor. How do you ever kill these? I'm guessing it matches the power of whatever I put in front of. We don't have anything that's spending bones, really. Anything good. This seems good. Oh, wolf pelts, too. Exquisite. Rat King. When a card bearing the sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Ringworm. We have a cat. Am I mentally retarded if I don't understand the game? No. Um, let's get... A tough choice. This elk font submerges, so it'll never die. Which means it'll always upgrade. It's a fucking Yeti, dude. The Douse. The card bearing the sigil is played, a, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. Uh, zero power, one health. That seems good. But I'd have to sacrifice two things for it. I'd have to sacrifice a full board to get this. I don't think it's worth it. Mole Man is going to be clutch, though. You have my gratitude. I have to go in a bottle? Yeah, but that only gives me three. <clears throat> and I can only use it once, so... We sacrifice one of our mole men to give it uh, this thing cover. You can't modify a card twice. this mantis god.
Mole Mantis? No, that wouldn't be very good. Magpie on B? Mole Beehive. Yeah, that would be good. But the, when this... Can this move over cards? Like, say there's, it's like Beehive, regular card, empty space. If something attacks the empty space, will it move from all the way over to the left, all the way there? It teleports to the spot? Alright, that seems good. That's a lot of bees. <laughs> Ew, stinky. The Mole Man. I get this like one attack and it's gonna be so good. I think we go with this first. your hand off the table, you freak. Stinky, poopy, those are gonna hatch. We could get rid of the elk. Wait, no, because they were just his power by one. Not much else we could do. It carries over the, to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. <sighs> I didn't heck know that. Wait, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Okay. So this just lowers power by one. It's time to go ant mode. Wait. Right. Never mind. I'm good. Oh, 
yeah, we're about to get the big damn too. That's the trapper. We should buy some. Ye, but ye won't find better belts within a hundred miles. On the house. You know, maybe we're getting too many cards. Ye have me gratitude. Sacrifice. Uh, I might put Magpie on this thing. We could summon it for two bones. I forget what this one is. What is, what is this one, Twitch chat? There's another shrine over there. Totem combat? Ooh, that's kind of annoying. We got the boy, though, dude. What if we just nuke this guy? Pronghorn, woe be to those that meet the end of its antlers. A per the pernicious vulture, a tyrant of the skies. Do I need two of those? It would give us more of a chance to draw it. I wonder if you can evolve cards that don't normally evolve. You can. What does it do? It gives one, two. Well, in that case, we're going to put it on our other mole man. like to see, boys.
the apothecized goat. The truest offering, sacrificing it, grants three blood. Probably gonna take that. Hmm, I don't recall making that one. Bell ringer. The regal moose, the creatures of the wild make way for it. Come across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. What do we want to get rid of? Probably this. What was that? You callously slaughtered the caged wolf. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Shook off the viscera of the poor caged wolf and carried on. Uh. Bouse. A man stood before you, a man you recognized immediately. It was the Trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. The card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. A pelt is created in my hand. Sacrifice the pelts? Does anyone know? No? Alright. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Exquisite pelts, but the psycho must continue. Let's trade. Powerful cards that will accept only the finest pelts for them. Trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. Didn't mean to click that, but that's a good one to get rid of, actually. Ditch this for an amp. Exquisite pelt. Please try to remain alive for just a short while longer. I would like a memento. 
Your death card. Let us begin. Choose a card to draw the cost from. <clears throat> Use its power and health. Sigil. I don't think I'll ever want to sacrifice this. Um, but this might buff it when I sacrifice it if it acts like it does on this card. I don't know. I never did ask you your name. Prepare yourself. Death awaits. Are you ready? Dala more likes for seven. Not much for trading that last one. Are you prepared to make the right deals? A gift from the angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. This, is, this hook is powerful. It may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. Your starting deck. I forget what this is. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose a spe not a specific beast, but decide the cost you wish to pay. carries three and you have three. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. Yes, please. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Um, this is the totem fight. So good. <laughs> I'm feeling the pain already. Is he out of cards? Appreciated ringworm. Its value is not readily apparent. What's the value? Am I your choice? <laughs> not readily apparent. We can put the pack right on the uh, ringworm.
I think pack right on stink bud would be better though, because it only takes two bones. Don't know. One blood or two bones? Why is stoat square? I don't know. I think we do... <laughs> this. More power! Salutations! Hello, friend. Meow, meow, meow. Freak does the worm do? I think it's just supposed to be kind of like a sacrifice type beat. You're high, what the fuck is happening? I'm playing a card game, dude. Um How many bones do we have? Two. Two bones! Have me here, I surrender. Nah. Meow. <laughs> Death again. this come across a hobbled man sitting beside some boulders he caught me off guard not supposed to see me till further down the road say i like a gamble if you can pick a boulder that has gold in it you could keep it yeehaw tis gold i could barely abide giving it to ye but a promise is a promise where I'm from. Do we have anything we want to sacrifice? Not really. We do need one of these though. Come upon the old woodcarver who fixed her intense gaze upon you. After an overlong moment of silence, she moved to offer her carvings. This seems good. Our cards will never die. Aquatic squirrels. They also won't block. The best defense is a good offense, Twitch chat. I don't know what this is. We can grab this. Bam, 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 bam. 
blocking flying. We don't have any flying cards. Uh, stoked. Uh, Ben. <laughs> eh, we'll see about that. Yikes. <laughs> Am I dead? We're gonna lose one. Wait, no, we're not dead. So, if we sacrifice these, we'll even out on damage if I drop the wolf. Which means we shouldn't die. I wish I could just sacrifice this thing. Oh, I can't. I'm an idiot. I need two bones. No! I was going to make space for the new uh, item I was going to get. But I did not have enough bones. Quickly grows into an elk. Hey, it's me. Small F. Oh yeah, I did drop some frames. That was weird. Not anymore, no. Hey, at least we can get an item here. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. mist closed in around you. You were not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Stand in the way of me, gold. Be dark. I'm not sure where we want to put this right now. 